This is the mini metal brake. I built it just for one reason, so that I can replace the plastic 3D printed parts used in my DIY Star Tracker with metal parts. This is 3mm thick aluminum machined on indie mill, bent with mini metal brake and then powder coated black. In this video I will show you how you can build a tool like this and how you can make parts like this on your own. To make it more accessible for everyone, but also more fun for me to create this project, I decided to introduce some constraints. And the first one was that I want to use only the parts that are available at the local hardware stores. Which is a big challenge, because hardware stores in Poland are not really well equipped. And the second constraint was no welding in this project. Just a drill and angle grinder, and that's basically all that you need to build it. Let's start. This is all we need. Of course I bought longer profiles and then cut them to the length and we need hinges and some screws. The complete list of parts with assembly drawings, with dimensions, with everything that you need to build this project you can find on my website for free, link is in the description. Cutting steel with an angle grinder is quite easy. I bought the profiles that were 2 meters long and that's way more than I need for this project but I will probably use it for different projects too. Caliper is a wonderful tool, not only for measuring, but you can also use it to mark your cut lines and this cut is a bit tricky as you have to plunge with the angle grinder inside the material, be careful with that. Now this step is very important, make sure that both surfaces of the profiles are flat with respect to each other as we will soon mount the hinges and that's very important. Here I'm just labeling the hinges and drilling the holes. And while drilling the holes, unfortunately I ran out of battery in my cord drill and my dad was like, why don't you use your grandpa's drill? And I thought that's a pretty funny idea and I decided to try it. It wasn't that hard, it was quite fun to do, to experience, you know, how, how they used to do it. And I was able to drill the rest of the holes with this drill. But of course, once the battery was charged, I went back to it because it's way quicker that way. And here I am tapping M4 holes with a tap and that way I don't have to use nuts, but if you want to use longer screws and nuts, no problem with that and you don't have to tap these holes. This time I'm cutting a bit smaller profile, it's 25 by 25 millimeters, also 2 millimeter thick, and I'm labeling the holes in the corner of the profile and we will use this piece as a clamping system for our mini metal break. Drill press is not super necessary in this project, but drilling holes like this is a lot easier with that. And to secure the clamping profile we need M8 screws and holes with threads. Unfortunately using nuts here would be really hard because you would have to hold them from the downside when clamping something, so threads in this case are the way to go. And here drilling the holes for the handles. This is just a random profile that I found in my workshop, it's 25 by 25 millimeters or something like this. And before painting, a test assembly just to make sure that everything works and it's ready for assembly. It seems to work fine, so it's time to take it all apart again and time to paint. But not really paint the traditional way, but powder coat on my own because it's way more fun to do. Some time ago I bought this powder coating gun online to paint steel plates for indie mill that you can buy on my website and now you can also buy this powder coating gun on my website, you can find more info in the description, there is a link for that. And here is a cheap old oven that I'm using to bake the parts and yeah, the painting is super simple and the result is usually really really good and there is not really a lot of pre-processing that you have to do to your parts, you just paint them and it looks fine. 
how long does it take? Well, probably painting is like a minute for a part, then 10 minutes in the oven and 10 minutes to cool down and you don't have to wait for the paint to dry. And here is the final assembly of all the parts. As I mentioned, I built my own Star Tracker and it uses 3D printed parts that I want to replace with parts made out of aluminum for testing and steel in the future. So that is exactly what I'm machining right now on IndieMill. It's a 3mm thick aluminum, then a bit of post-processing, sanding, stuff like this, and it is ready for bending. It's time for a test, and the test is very simple. Millimetal break versus 3mm thick aluminum. If this metal brake can handle that, I have a really nice tool for my future project where I can design really cool stuff out of aluminum, cut it on indie mill and bend it with mini metal brake. If not, well then I built a pretty useless tool for me. And here I tried bending this part, but unfortunately I faced a problem, the bottom profile was bending quite a lot and it wasn't possible to really nicely properly bend it, so I had to cheat a little bit and I used this piece of aluminum, and fortunately that's something that's easy to fix, you can just add steel plates to reinforce on the handles, and that should help a lot. I have no experience with bending whatsoever, but I'm really happy with this bend, it looks really clean and professional. And then I thought that it would be really fun to create something more complicated and I thought about a phone holder. Something that you can like machine out of single piece of material then bend in few places and you have a phone holder. It was easy to bend as I used 1.5mm thick aluminum, that's what I found around. It was really terrible to machine, it was a weird kind of aluminum. Uh, but it was easy to bend, the result was okay, it wasn't perfect, I'm way more happy with the Star Tracker part. And here once again powder coating just to make it more professional and because it's fun. And the result. The black matches perfectly with my parts for the Star Tracker, so that's cool. And I think we have a really, really professional part made for almost nothing in my workshop and that's beautiful. And well, the phone holder does not look that great, but it kind of works. So that's cool. So that's it for the mini metal break. Another great thing about it, it's mini so you can easily just hide it in your drawer, hang it on your tool wall or whatever you want. Thank you very much for watching, happy making, bye.